three of these boxes will break the $6,750 bank. Is this one of them? Or is it this one? Or this one? We'll find out in a moment in this game of hide and seek as these nine celebrities. Soupy Sales. Joyce Boulevard. Joanne Worley. Donnie Most. Jan Murray. Elkie Summer. J.P. Morgan. Bill Cullen. And Lonnie Shore. All join us in playing Break the Bank. Now meet our host, Tom Kennedy. Hey, hi there. Hi there. Hello there. Thank you. Hi, guys. Hi, y'all. Good to see you. Hi there. Hey, welcome back. What a great audience we have with us. We had a good audience yesterday, but this audience, dynamite. Fantastic. And we have two players up here, and Ernie Anderson, would you introduce them, please? Here's our current champion, whose winnings total over $2,400, John Hatton. <laughs> and his opponent, a property manager whose favorite sports are skiing and swimming, Lynn Carinante. As Ernie said, John is our champ. So far, he has earned $2,480. We're right in the middle of the game, and Lynn Carinante is playing her very first game. And she's a property manager, and she's married, and she likes to ski and swim. That's right. That's right. And we're here to play Break the Bank. You both remember how to play our game, don't you? Yes, sir. Well, for you folks at home, when we ended our show yesterday, our game was interrupted. Here's what the exposed portions of the board looked like. Uh, Lynn has one $100 box, one $300, and John has one one, one three, but two $200 boxes. A right answer wins you the box, a wrong answer, and your opponent wins the box. Three of a kind wins, three money bags break the bank, which today is $6,750. Uh -oh. And John, you are in uh -oh. control, sir. Which box would you like next? Tom, my birthday's the 15th. Let's find out if it's lucky. It's a 50-50 chance of finding the third $200 box. Let's see if he found it. Box number 15, he did. <laughs> it's for Lonnie Shore and for Elsie Summer. All right, Lonnie. You have just discovered that your fouling piece is out of order. What's your problem? The problem is that the wedding is postponed because that's a shotgun piece. Yeah. The gun's broken. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> if my fouling piece was out of order, I'd go to the doctor to have a checkup, I think. <laughs> well, all right. In Germany, it would have gone over the devil's <laughs> All right. I would say that your, um, um, that your bow and arrow is not in working order. It's I not see. working right. What fouling part of Germany is that? <laughs> Never mind. All right. Never John. Mind. I'll try gun, Tom. That's right. Your gun is broken. You've won a game. You won $600. And Lynn Carinante is sitting here applauding, but we had to say goodbye to her. But that was a good game. We enjoyed meeting you. Well, it was fun. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Nice gifts for you backstage. Thank you, Lynn Carinante. Well, John Hatton, you did it again. This time you won $600, and Ernie Anderson, what's his prize? It's quick, easy, gourmet meals with this energy-saving microwave oh, oven. Tappan's American-made microwave oven. Energy-saving two-timer dials, defrost cycle, selector control, new browning element. Cooks and cleans in seconds. Tappan microwave oven saves time, energy, and money. And his wife, Joan, has a nice smile out in the audience, as well as his three kids. And, uh, well, another $250 goes into the bank since it was not broken. That means the next time we'll be playing for, get this, $7,000 right after he works. John Hatton is our current champ. So far, he's won the bedroom set, the trip to Mazatlan, the microwave oven, $1,200 in cash for a grand total of $3,550. Well done, Mr. Hatton. Now we're going to meet his new challenger. Ernie Anderson, would you do the honor? She's from New York, a medical office manager, Eileen Levine. Eileen Levine. 
Well, Eileen Levine, how be you today? Fine. How long have you been out here from New York, Eileen? Two months. Is that all? Mm -hmm. So are you here on a visit? Are you here working or One-way One ticket. One-way ticket. California for you, huh? Right. What made you decide to move to the West Coast, Eileen? Saw it quite by accident last summer, fell in love, and I came back. Well, that's great. We're happy to have you with us. And now that you're here, let's play a game. Would you start us off, Eileen? Okay, let's try number two. <laughs> number two. That's for Joanne Worley and Joyce Boulafond. And box number two is what for Eileen Levine. It's a money bag. Now, Eileen, the bank is at $7,000. Uh-oh. Well, I never thought I'd refuse money, but I'm turning it back. <laughs> All right. What okay. do you want next? I will try number eight. Number eight, all right. That's for Jan Murray and Donnie Most. And box number eight reveals a $100 box. Hey, Jan, you are an Indian. What would you do with your wiki up? <laughs> I'd roll it up and make a teepee. <laughs> I almost said it. <laughs> My, no, you know what I do? I'm a wiki up. You're putting me. What kind of Indian am I? A schmohawk? <laughs> uh, you know what I would do with a wiki up if I were an Indian? I'd ride it because that's a, uh, it's an Indian word for pony. I see. Donnie, most? Well, I'd like to drag it home to my teepee, but that's what it really is, is a teepee. You'd live in it. What do you think, Eileen? Teepee. That's right. It's a teepee. That's another name for teepee. Let's try number nine. Number nine, that's for JP. JP and the TP. JP and Donnie. Can we see box number nine, please? And there's a $300 box. Mm -hmm. JP, how fast can a woodpecker peck if a woodpecker would, could peck as fast as he could? <laughs> <laughs> well, just as fast as his little <laughs> go. That's... And you know what that is? No. That's, um, that's 20, 20 pecks a second. Good. Thank you, JP. <laughs> Donnie? I, I, I liked her answer. I liked her answer a lot better than mine. But um, a woodpecker um, normally pecks about two times a second, but if it would go as fast as it could, it would be about five pecks a second. What do you think, Eileen? Uh, two to five pecks a second. No, 20 pecks a second, just you. as JP said, so that box goes wow. over automatically. She knows about that to, stuff. Yes, indeed. <laughs> she's that. John? Let's try number 10, Tom. Number 10? All right. And that's for Lonnie Shore and Donnie Most. He's looking for another 300. Did he find it in box number 10? <laughs> oh, 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 uh, let's try number 15. <laughs> All right. Number 15 for Lonnie Shore and for Elkie Summer. Could we see box number 15, please? There's a money bag. Another money bag, Eileen. Nope. Uh, no. Number 5. Uh, number five for Lonnie and for Joyce Boulafon. Can we see box number five? We're going to get Lonnie on if it's the last thing we do. There's a $300 box, and Lonnie, here's your question. Your eyes are closed, you're standing on your left foot, and your right foot is touching the inside of your left knee. What are you doing? Eileen, Eileen, Eileen. <laughs> what are you doing, Eileen Levine? Um, your left foot is touching your inside of... You're standing on your left foot. Your right foot is touching the inside of your left knee. That means you're all like this, right? You practice in birth control. <laughs> well, it's hard. I'll tell you like that. It, they have a new birth control thing. The man takes the pill. It oh? affects your optic nerve, and you can't find your old lady. They have a... Um, the, uh, what you're doing then... What you're doing is you're doing that uh, yoga. You're assuming... Um, what do you call that? Lotus. Low lotus position. That's right. Jan. Joyce? The lotus position. Well, that sounds kind of reasonable. Well, it's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't the truth. Is it? <laughs> what you're doing is you're, you're really testing your balance. Eileen. May I have a question? Again, yes. Please? Your eyes are closed. You're standing on your left foot. Your right foot is touching the inside of your left knee. What are you doing? Now, Lonnie says you're assuming the lotus position, and <laughs> Joyce says that you're testing your balance. Something tells me you're testing your balance? That's right. Yes, you're right. And you've got a $300 bucks. Now, you have blocked John, unless, of course, he finds the wild card. Next pick is yours, Eileen. Okay, let's try number seven. 
All right, number seven, looking for another 100. And as for Joanne and for Donnie, could we see box number seven? And she did find another $100 box. Joanne, yeah. Rome, Italy is often referred to as the eternal city. Approximately how long ago was Rome founded? Oh, well, I didn't know it was losted. <laughs> No, 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 no. Uh, I happen to be a history buff, and I believe, if my memory serves, as they say in the trade, uh, 4,700 years ago. I know that sounds incredible, but it's true. Yeah, 4,700 years ago. And Why are you laughing? <laughs> what does Ralph Malf of Happy Days have to say about that? That seems like a pretty long time ago. I don't think it was that long. I think about 2,700 years ago. What do you think? About. Everyone? 2,700 years ago. Correct. Yes, ma'am. It was founded by Romulus and Remus. Well, Eileen, you now have two $100 boxes. Okay, let's try number six. Number six. If this is the third, you could win the game. $300 special prize. It's for Soupy and for Donnie. Could we see box number six? Did she find it? Oh, another. Eileen, that's the third money bag you've uncovered. Oh, Bank of America would love me. No, I'm turning it back. All right. <laughs> easy come, easy uh, go. Number three. <laughs> number three. Still looking for the third $100 box. And did she find it? If she did, she could win the game. Box number three. Oh, it's a blank. Over now to John Hatton. Zilch. Number 12, Tom. He's looking for a block. In other words, he's looking for the third $100 box. Number 12 for Joanne and Elke. Could we see box number 12? Did he find it? A blank. <laughs> Very interesting, Eileen. Oh, yeah. Number two is the money. Yeah. Number 13. Number 13 is her next choice. If this is the third, she could win the game. $300. Can we see box number 13, please? It is the $1,300 box. It's for Jan and for Elke. <clears throat> Jan, you are a wolf. How often do you mate every year? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm a Jewish wolf, so once every two years is plenty for me. I... <laughs> I'd say, yeah, it's, 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 Eileen, it's, it's once every two years a wolf mates. Elke Summer. Well, the wolves I knew made it quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you, it's once every I'm two sorry. minutes. I, I, I had to say that. I'm sorry. But I believe, uh, not uh, like the wolves I knew, but the real wolves mate once a year. Eileen, this is for the honestly, game. Honestly, honestly. $300 and a special prize. Is it every two years or once a year? Oh, a dog mates every two years. I'll have to say every two years. No! No, it's uh, uh, Elke was right. It's once a year. Yes. And that box automatically goes over to John Hatton. The game is still very much alive. We'll see what John's next pick is after these words. Don't go away. inherited that last $100 box, and you're alive, John. Continue. Number six, Tom. All right, number six, and that's for Donnie and for Soupy, and can we see box number six, please? And there is the money bag. Three of those, the bank's at 7,000. Three of those will break the bank. I'm going to gamble and keep it, Tom. He's going to keep that one. You now have one money bag, two more, and you break it. All right, Eileen. Number 11. Number 11, just beneath. That's for Soupy and Elke. Can we see box number 11 for Eileen? It's a $200 box. Hey, Soupy. Yes. Uh, in one of America's most beloved poems, what is it that goes tinkle, tinkle in the icy air of night? It's <laughs> Ed McMahon after a six-pack of beer. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, I remember that poem. It's Snowflake. Snowflake? Yeah. Thank you. Elke. Come on, snowflakes don't tinkle. <laughs> well, don't. I don't know. <laughs> bells tinkle. Tinkle, tinkle bells. John. No. Just a second, just a second. Now, John's at bat, isn't that correct? Oh, he took the money bag. It is Eileen. It's Thank Eileen. you very much. Yes. Eileen, your two choices are snowflakes and bells. Keep up. Bells. Bells yes. is it. Yes, yes, yes. ma'am, you got the $300 box. Back in the game now, Eileen. Number 17. Number 17. That's for Joanne and for Bill Cullen. Joanne Worley and Bill Cullen. Can we see box number 17? And there is a $200 box. And Joanne, here is your question, ma'am. Uh, how many state capitals have been named after U.S. presidents? 
You know, this is a very informative show also. <laughs> let, me, let me just kind of, now, Washington, Lincoln, Nebraska, Nixon, no, not that one. <laughs> I believe uh, eight, there are eight. Bill Cullen. Well, that's pretty good, Joanne, but, but not counting Pittsburgh, which was named after a president, which he quit right before he got elected. <laughs> no, actually, all in all, all those presidents and all those states, there's only four that line up. Eileen? Four. That's it, four. <laughs> you got the $200 box. Uh, number, just number one six. second. Incidentally, for the folks at home, the four are Jackson, Mississippi, Jefferson City, Missouri, Madison, Wisconsin, and Lincoln, Nebraska. What's your next pick, Eileen? 16. Number 16, then of course she knows that is the third $200 box, so this is for the game and for $600 in a special prize. And it's for Soupy Sales and for Bill Cullen. Soupy, according to experts, people are more likely to have a problem with their mattress if it's too what? Expensive. <laughs> no, if it's too, I know, because I, I had problems like that. If it's too soft. Uh-huh, Bill Cullen. Soupy, your problems are altogether different than mine. My problems are right when the mattress is too hard. Eileen, this is for the game, $600 and a special prize. I what have is to your... ask you to please repeat it. I will. According to experts, people are more likely to have a problem with their mattress if it's too what? If it's too soft. That's right. Soft is it. You won the game. Eileen Levine wins her very first game. We have to say goodbye to John Hatton, who takes with him the bedroom set, the trip to Mazatlan, the microwave oven, $1,200 in cash for a grand total of $3,550. Congratulations, John. Thank you for that. Well, Eileen. Here you are in California, and now you're a television star, and you just won 600 bucks, and we've got a special prize for you. What is it, Ernie? Make your own kind of music with this fabulous organ, Wurlitzer's Funmaker Super Sprite Organ. Features touch tone program accompaniment, lighted note finder, and singing rhythm to automatically add bounce to your playing, furnished by Wurlitzer. Congratulations, Eileen. Thank you. Eileen will be back to take on a brand new challenger and we'll put another $250 into the bank. Next time we'll be playing for $7,250 after this. Our current champ, Eileen Levine, has just won her first game, and uh, in that she won the Oregon, $600 in cash. She's just out here two months from New York, and I guess you're getting to like California better by the minute now, huh? Very much. Have you found a home yet out here? I took an apartment temporarily. I see. Okay. So far, so good, huh, Eileen? So far, and it's beautiful. Good. Now let's meet a new opponent, Ernie Anderson. A liquor store manager whose interest is football, Jonathan Gargan. Jonathan Gargan. There's got to be the makings here for a new series. We have Eileen Levine and Jonathan Gargan <laughs> in Strange Couple. Uh, football, you like? Yes, you sir. like to play in it or you like to watch it? Oh, both. Uh, I haven't played for a few years now since I got out of college. So You did play in college football? Yes. And you came out of it all right? Yes, well, a few little scratches. Show That's us about your scratches. All. <laughs> well, I can't take off. You know. <laughs> and uh, your wife, Terry, is in the audience. Yes, she is. All right. And she's watching you right now. And yes. Jonathan takes his first pick. What is it, Jonathan? Okay, we'll try lucky number two. Lucky number two? All right. For Joanne and for Joyce, can we see box number two? There's a $100 box. Hey, Joanne. Yes. When was the Pledge of Allegiance first published? Well, the Pledge of Allegiance, of course, it was there before it was published. Uh, that was quite a long time. I really wouldn't know the answer. Jay Morgan would know the answer. <laughs> a lot of people want to call her J.P. Morgan, but her good friends call her Jay. If I'm correct, it was first published in 1792. Joyce? I thought you said her good friends called her P. No, her really good friends. Oh, I mean, I'm just a, a casual good friend. I know this because, as I said, once before, having lived in uh, Philadelphia, you have to know those things. It's um, 1892. What do you think, Jonathan? Uh, we'll go with 1892. That is correct. Yes, sir. You've earned your first $100 box. Incidentally, the, the way this read is that when was it published? And it appeared in the September 8th issue of Youth's Companion Magazine. 
Well, I'll I be think, darned. Yeah, you used to carry that, didn't you, JP? <laughs> All right, Jonathan, which uh, box would you like next? Oh, uh, let's go with box number one. Number one, looking for another $100 box. And did he find it? It's for Soupy and Joyce. And box number one, <laughs> like the means we're back, Riley. Okay, let's try number six. Number six, did you say? Yes. All right, number six for Eileen, Soupy, and Donnie. And there's a money bag. It's the bank's at $7,250. Nope, we turn that back. All right. And let's try number 14. Number 14, looking for something else for JP and Elkie. What does she find behind box number 14? A $300 box. JP. In New Hampshire, JP, with proper consent of parents and court, at what age can boys marry? Well, it's either when they're eight or when they get lucky. Oh. <laughs> oh, my. But, um, and incidentally, my, my good friends call me B. Um, oh, and, and the right answer to this is 17, and Elkie, now I want out. Thank you. Elkie? Well, knowing all about the New Hampshire boys, I would say the age is very young, surprisingly young. It's 14. Eileen? 14. That's it, 14, hey. yes. Hey. We're going to take time out for commercial. We'll be right back. All right, Eileen Levine is in control. She has one $300 box, and Jonathan Gargan has one $100. We'll resume from that point when next we meet, and we're very happy to have with us this week Elkie Summer. Hello. What a doll you are, Elkie, being with us. You. You're just as gorgeous as ever. Now, the, Elkie, you have a movie in release right now? Yes, I have a movie coming out which is called One Away. It's a story of a prison break. It's very with good. Brad Dillman and Steen Stockwell, Pad Noor. It's a nice movie. Look for it. And see you tomorrow. Bye, gang. See you tomorrow. I'll see you folks with the bank at $7,250. Our departing contestants will receive today's rental of HR's portable steam carpet cleaning system and a supply of rug cleaning and shampoos. HR Carpet Care Center is available in supermarkets. And a supply of Kentucky Fried Chicken. When you want finger licking good chicken, there's one place for it Kentucky Fried Chicken. Plus, armor added tender ham and sprinkled brown sugar, nutmeg, cloves, and spices to give treat a delicious country style ham flavor. 